Hey everyone, it's Andrew here. I wanted to make another video uh, that I've been meaning to do for a while now. Um, whenever I make a video, I try to make it so it's uh, helpful and useful and something maybe that I haven't seen on YouTube before. So the thing that I want to talk about today is how do you combine two pieces of hard line together? Um, and you might say, well, why would you want to do that? Well, a lot of times you need to do some repairs on brake lines. Or like I did with the Cougar, I ran a fuel line in two pieces because I didn't want to have to bend a big long piece of hard line all the way under the car in order to reach from the gas tank to the front of the car. So in the middle, I, had, um, I have a, a junction there where two pieces of hard line come together. So there are two ways to do this. Um, you've seen my video on how to flare um, hard line uh, for AN fittings. So this is called a male-to-male -male AN union. So one way to do that is to flare using that rigid tool that I demonstrated and use the appropriate uh, tube nuts and sleeves here. This line obviously isn't um, flared, but you would just use one of these unions and combine two lines together. That's pretty simple. But there's another way to do that, and it's probably even more common and more appropriate to use um, for cars. And that is using one of these. This is a, a union also, but it is a 45 degree SAE uh, flared type of fitting. So this is what you would find commonly in your older cars with brake lines, your typical 45 degree fitting. So what you would do is make a flare. This is a 45 degree flare that I've made. It's a double flare. And obviously you would wanna put your nut first because presumably this line is going somewhere else. And this end goes here and you would tighten it down. Now, this isn't a video necessarily on how to flare lines, but here I've um, wanted to give you a couple of pointers on how you would go about making a double flare. Uh, the first thing is you really want to, after you make the cut on the tubing, um, you want to deburr. So I have a little flaring kit here, and this is the deburring um, tool that came with it, and it's actually pretty good. It's a lot better than what you might find. A lot of cutters have that little V see there that you're supposed to use and these just don't don't work very well but this is a pretty nice tool now this side as you can see this has not been deburred and you can see the line is slightly compressed there towards the center while on this end I've already deburred it so once you make the cut and deburr your um, your tube you want to put it in your um, your flaring tool and the trick here is that you want to have the first operation, you want to have the, the tube sticking, sticking out um, about the, the width of this um, die that we're going to use. So this, isn't, this doesn't have to be microscopic precision, but it does need to, need to be pretty accurate. So you want these level. All right, so the, then you would, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these. This is the first step in making a double flare. So you get your clamp on, and a lot of times you would put this in a vise if, if, if you can, but a lot of times you might have to do this under the car because you're already working on an existing line. The other little trick here is to make sure that your jaws are sitting here squarely up against uh, the tubing holder, and then you simply just put some muscle into it and start cranking it down. And I love using this NICOP uh, tubing because it is so easy uh, to flare both single and double. And when you get to the end, it'll get pretty snug and then you want to back it off. So then the die comes out and you see there's sort of this bubble flare that was created with the die. And then you go back in for a second operation. And that's just to use the cone. So again, you want to make sure that your um, tool is seated nicely up against the frame of the 
tubing holder, otherwise you can get a hole that's all oblong and crappy looking. So that looks pretty good. You get in here, you tighten it down, and at first it goes real easy, but you just want to go not too tight, and then you'll feel a just right, just the resistance there, and then you back it off. So what you're left with is a pretty nice double flare 45 degree. Now the other thing, a lot of these tools, what will happen is um, you'll get a lot of burrs here, especially on the cone, and I always like to clean that up. This is just a little emery cloth that I have, and you want to give that a nice little clean up to get those burrs off of there. All right. So obviously your nut would have been on there first if you got a long line, and here are these two coming together. 45 degree, double flare, A and union, and now you have lines coming together if you wanted to make two-piece um, fuel lines or if you needed to do a repair on a brake line. I hope you found this video helpful and useful, so please um, share and subscribe. Thanks.